clear. Mereska has arrived. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Dota TV. Hi, Dota TV. You can't it's hear slacks. Slack <laughs> Thank you so much, Slacks. We are here. Game one of Midas mode. Super exciting stuff already. We've got a Pudge. We've got a lot of randoms. This is going to be at. We're smoking. We're smoking. They're doing it. There's no filter. And both teams, oh, they're smoking. They're smoking. All right, Trent. How you doing, buddy? How you feeling? Oh, I'm today? doing great. So so we discussed this possibility yesterday when the bounty was created. I'm just like, well, won't they just all chat the entire game to make up for it? And that looks to be the plan. Yeah. So perfectly executed here by the teams. So Navi actually did smoke, but they're just they're placing some wards for Soneko, and uh, <laughs> Dendi's confirming the fact that they are indeed smoking. <laughs> I can't handle this. This is going to happen the entire game. No Tail throws out the horse emote. There's still a lot of bounties to be collected in this particular game as yeah, well. Yeah, but we are, we're missing some. No Mango Bay. No Mango Sorry, Bay. guys. Hate to disappoint. No, no Iron, happen. no GG Branch for every single carry, no, character no, rather no. in the game. So uh, We didn't get our full lineups of like strength, agi, or uh, intelligence, but yeah. uh, we're going to have to watch. You guys are going to have to ping us and, and scream and chat when we're missing someone running to the fountain. Yep. Because uh, we're going we're gonna to do our best here. Uh, I'm expecting the Dark Willow, probably yeah, the bigger Yeah, that's what they ones. were talking about in the panel. Yeah. They thought it would be Dark Willow, if anybody, to make it through. We, we also discussed Pangolier. Possibly. I mean, what is... You know, your roll time's not that long. It's the only problem. It's like eight seconds. But, you yeah, know, maybe he'll go for it. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. We will see. But uh, we haven't really talked about this draft. We've talked a about a couple of things uh, while they were they were talking about the draft themselves. We have the Crystallized Tiny. We've seen this hero a lot. It also got its uh, tree grab buffed. It had a slight nerf to grow, not slight. I mean, the damage reduction was about 60 damage changed at the max level. Max level. But now he's got armor to work with. Poor Tiny didn't have any armor at the beginning. Now he does. So, we have, well, I mean, Crystallized Tiny should be a pretty good, should be pretty good game for him, especially considering he's only going up against Doom in the off so. Yeah, and then mid we have the Dendi Zeus with the help of Roger just to start. Not a Dendi Pudge, guys. I know. I know you're all sad inside. Yeah. But it's okay. Roger, you know. Look, he's dancing. He's doing his best impersonation here. It's going to be good. He's already got to use his Tango. We'll see how this works. He's going to start with Rod, obviously. Resolution will need to be careful. Dendi should get plenty of CS in this lane. In the top lane, though, they're going to go for the disruption here. Yeah, this is... Uh... This is a no-tail... Hunka, yep. I'm doing some work. Nether Blast comes out as well. General trying to survive. A couple more auto attacks, but he'll be able to make it back to the tower. Hugna is one of the speediest guys on the planet. He's so damn fast. Yeah, but I mean, this is a classic combo. It used to be a roaming a support duo, but uh, look how little that cost them. I mean, their mana bar is practically still full for flying no tail. And that's going to take General South, and they're just going to be looking to do that every time it's off cooldown. Yep, disruption back in two seconds. Fly setting up for it, taking a lot of damage. Nether Blast coming in again. Fly needs to be careful. The torrent will follow up here. That should hit perfectly, and it will. Jarek's coming in. He's going to use a swashbuckle. Another Nether Blast, but Fly. He will survive. It is no tail that gets first blood on General. Nicely done, getting that combination and then rotating in Jarek on that Pangolier. Yeah, should be really interesting to watch uh, the old swashbuckler roaming across the map here. Position 4, not what you're expecting. I was also kind of in on the uh, core, maybe like a position 3 or something yeah. here, so... Jarak's going to have to look to get quite a bit done here in the early game. Yeah, speaking of the three roll for OG, it is S4 on the Doom. He started out with the point in Devour and then Scorched Earth. Meanwhile, top lane, they're going to go again. Disruption coming out, another point to fall. General is in a lot of trouble. He has no real reach out other than Tango's. He's going to get dropped down. No tail hit in the torrent. He's got the Tidebringer now along with it, and then the Swatchbuckle doing a lot of damage, even at level one for Jarak. So two kills for OG in the top lane so far. You know, if this is a core Kunkka, this this seems like a guy who could really use a Sanjiyasha and a Kai. Oh, uh, I would have to say. I would say so as well, my friend. That uh, would be pretty interesting. Uh, we might also get into the armlet build as well, perhaps, even as like a core role. Should be pretty fun to see how No-Tail wants to go. I mean, we know he loves to be mobile. He likes to get around the map right. and try and just set up kills the whole time, create all of that space. It's going to be something like Rezo. a blink dagger early on into the game. Yeah. We'll see. And then, uh, the real initiation probably is going to come from Crystallize for Navi. I would imagine you go Blink Dagger on Tiny still. I think it's still really strong, even with the tree grab bubbled up and just trying to farm. At some point, I'm sure he'll get involved in Denny, well, he's going to start with Arcane's here. He has 15 last CTs top of the game right now, so Crystallize and Denny both having a pretty good lane so far. And 
General says we're smoking. Is anybody smoking here, guys? I don't, I don't think so. I really, I really appreciate the XDs as well, you know. Garex, <laughs> S4 bottom lane. Benico's gonna come in, they're gonna go for the stun. The Curse Crown, it's going to hit Crystallize. He's got Avalanche ready to go. That should be enough to get the kill. And the Tree Toss from Tiny to start it all off there. Crystallize will secure it. Nicely done from Sineko and Crystallize. Oh, top lane, we're setting up here. Another disruption, foreign combination, there it is. General Swashbuckle does so much damage, and General's already used the decrypt. They're going to grab the kill. It's the Shield Crash that does it for Garax. No Tail might be in some trouble, though. Roger chasing him down with Rot. Here comes the Dark Willow. He's going to use his Shadow Realm, and that's the damage they need to get the kill. Sineko just destroyed him with that. Oh, and a hook from Roger. He gets fly. For more flies in trouble now. He's got no disruption. He's only got Soul Catcher. Fly's going to get dropped down. It's going to be a 2 for 1 trade. A double kill for this Dark Willow. And it's already doing so much work in this support role. This is fantastic stuff. Meanwhile, from behind, Jerex is going to try to get away. He's looking for the courier. Can he find it? No, he will not go for it. They even use the shield on the courier to make sure it survives. Good attempt there. This game is everything I wanted to be. Yeah, before. bottom lane, crystallize. Okay, oh, he's, he's playing pretty, pretty close to S4, nice and low. They'll get General again, so he's had a little bit of a rough time for the Bugna. They're now chasing after Roger, but uh, Swashbuckle comes to Jax. Did he get it? No, Roger. Oh, bottom lane. <laughs> S4 just gets chased under the tower. He was so low for so long. Chris Lies just able to wait there. But yeah, action across the map all it's at once everywhere. Here. Roger's got three stacks of Shadow Poison. Flies are running a little bit low on mana. He drops it down, but there's regen for Roger. He's got the Tranquils to work with. And now he should be fine. He's trying to bait Jarex up the hill. There is a hook. It is level one for Roger. Can he go for this? I don't even think he will. Maybe if he's at the tower. That's the only way I see this happen. But Jarex can just squash buckle out. So yeah. no reason to do it. He needs some friends. A little bit of love. This game is... Oh, oh he does get a big hook, the, though. The hook coming in onto Fly. Torrent coming in. There's a deep trap. That actually is... Not going to do enough. The Nether Blast will do a lot of damage. No Tail still chasing. They're going to shield crash. Jarex is diving. He's pretty tanky. But Roger is juking around the cliff. He's got the ward. He's looking for another. Oh, Jarex needs to be careful here. His shield crash is about Fly's to wear off. Fly's still on the run, but he's decrept. He's going to oh, go he's down. Dead. Nether Blast. Good call. Fly will get dropped down by General, who chases him the entire way through. And Jarex is going to be able to make it away as well. OG and Navi, they are going toe to toe. Five to four, the kill score. Roger has been up here top lane, doing some stuff. Crystallized getting kills bottom. In the meanwhile, mid lane, just a farm fest between Dendi and Resolution. In fact, Dendi actually took a lot of damage. He's going to have to head him home at this point, so. <laughs> I think they might be uh, smoking. Are they actually? Uh, everyone's smoking. This is great. Jarex and Fly are actually smoking. So far, so good. Meanwhile, Hook coming out, missing onto No Tail in the top lane. Torn will come through. That'll also not connect onto General. So, teams need to be aware between Fly and Jarex, they're going to smoke and they're going to look for a kill, but we'll see how prepared Navi are for this. Well, I mean, they did tell them. Did. I, they wouldn't lie. No, I, I mean, every time they say we are smoking, they're clearly smoking. They're clearly doing it. Oh, Dendi, he didn't listen. He did not listen. He wasn't ready. Disruption will start this off. They've got the swashbuckle. They've got the shadow poison. Dendi, oh, they missed the swashbuckle. That might not be enough damage. The shield crash is going to come in. They're going to die for this. Dendi's in trouble. They might get Jarek. They will, but it'll be the one for one trade. Curse Crown hits on to two. Here's the shadow realm coming in. The Bramble Maze. A lot of damage. Fly one more auto attacks. And Nico is just doing so much work. All right. He's a Dark Willow gamer. Confirmed. That's that pretty actually nice. is Onage. Yep. Yeah, she's quite the hero too. And, and Elgo is space, she's getting in the mid lane as well. She's going to get level 5 here in a moment. We'll get 3 points in the Shadow Realm, which already does a ridiculous amount of damage. And then we're just going to be watching for that level 6. She's going to have Arcanes in a moment. She's speedy. Yeah, level 6, Terrorize, as well as Bedlam. They did nerf Bedlam a little bit, obviously, with 7.06B. Something to keep in mind. But he's already spamming the Shadow Realm out. He's about to hit Resolution, but he's got some mana to work with, so he will tank it up a little bit. He also has Wand Charges. He's got Nikila now. So Rezo's actually, actually doing rather well, but again, Crystallized bottom lane is the top net worth. Meanwhile, Hook just missing on the nose tail. He walked up as the Hook was coming in, and there wasn't even any vision for him to spot it out. Actually, they might have seen it. We're smoking from Sedeco. Looks like he might head top, but now no tail chasing after Jamie. Jarex comes in the squash buckle. Now nah, he's going to get dropped down the shield crash as well. Torrent? Oh! Okay, we're going to take a second here. I don't think it's going to hit anyway. He's going to be able to walk out of it. All right, well, all, all paused up here. Reginald! Yeah, Reginald! All right. We still have time. No, it's going. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, I really... Really apologize. <laughs> we're we're unpausing. Hey, 
And that was your first vape break, provided by uh, Alien, Alien Piss. Piss. Shout out to Alien Piss for that beautiful vape break. We're back into the game now. Be beautiful. Just, Just beautiful. beautiful. Great stuff. Real well done there. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I here? I don't know. Oh, hook top line. Lion's gonna get caught. Decrep, nether blasted. He does have raindrops. He might survive for a moment longer, but he's still getting chased down by the rot. General, there's the ghost ship. He's got raindrops. The swashbuckle will finish him off. Jerax comes in. Seneco is gonna come in a little bit too late. He still has the shadow realm to work with. Hook. Jerax is able to dodge it. No tuck coming back into Earth's ground now. Up on the end as well. Seneco is going to back himself up. The torrent will not connect. No Bramble Maze to follow by there, and no tail will secure a one for one trade. That's why it does get dropped down. In the meantime, though, Crystallize. He's max a tree grab, baby, and he's farming up, and guess what he's got in his inventory already? Yes, and Oh, baby. <laughs> Alright, pretty good hero for it. And, oh, top lane, just a little bit of damage there, but uh, yeah, we're eight minutes in, 16 kills, and everything relatively even. Just a, a slight lead for Navi, and most of that stacked on top of Crystallize, as you were saying, but. Then it's uh, No-Tail, I think, is someone who can definitely make a lot of action happen across the map here once he gets in that first item. Yeah, Just uh, create all of the space that he can for Rezo, uh, who doesn't really have any sort of big stacks going for himself right now. Obviously, Fly and Jerak's been quite busy Ooh. with the kills. Oh, Navi, they didn't say it. They didn't say it. They're smoking, and they didn't say they're smoking. Oh, oh, too oh late. That's, that's, a, that's a great is catch, it? buddy. Rezo and, uh, well, Mr. Midas is going to make a judgment call later on. Yeah. That. We'll, we'll not worry about this now. Curse Crown's gonna hit up. There's the Shadow Run, but again, Resolution is so tanky with a little two-net mana shield. But S4 coming in, looks for the Doom. He's got the Infernal Blade as well. Seneco is in so much trouble. S4 is gonna try to run. He's got the Scorchers running. They're gonna have to deny Seneco here, and they will. Good deny from Roger, and they just couldn't quite chase him down and get another auto attack for Resolution. So. That will do it. They will grab the kill, but again, it's a deny going the way of Roger. Yeah, and that's your first Doom, so not too big of a deal here, honestly, for Navi. They're probably pretty happy with that situation. Ah, but the space creation. Oh, top lane. That's another combo. Yeah. This is just over and Navi. over on general. He's died seven times on this pug that he's only level five. Meanwhile, Seneco. <laughs> he's seven of the eight kills for yeah, OG. That's, uh... That's depressing. I mean, it makes sense, though. Like, this combo is disgusting. It's really good. No Tail's looking for Seneco. Curse Crown coming out now. The Torrent's about to hit. Instead, he will just be stunned for a moment. They've got the Rot. Only level 4 for the Pudge, but he's up level 2 hook. Yeah, we'll get back in. No Tail is going to get dropped down. No Bramble Maze needed for Dark Willow. And they will secure a giant kill on the OG's No Tail. Meanwhile, mid lane, a dive. No, Crystallize was the one going down, of course, getting the kill on Jarek's bottom lane. So. There was action happening across the map, but it looks like it will be two for nothing for Navi all over the map. Yeah, and we're just kind of waiting on that big level six for Jerax. I want to see what he can do with the ball. Start rolling around there in the thunder. He went Arcanes too. I'm actually so hyped for a Jerax Pangolier. This, probably, this seems like his type of hero, which makes it oh, super Top hard. lane, waiting in the wings uh -oh. here. Roger looking for the big hook here. It's level three, lots of range, and oh, oh swing and a miss. Jerax walks back in. Now he's going to shield crash. Life drain coming out. He does have that shield crash defensive capability. The ghost ship and Torn are going to hit general Nether Blast. Jerax down. The swash buckle will secure the kill. Roger's coming in there looking for the terrorize, but it's a land of no tail. And the ball comes in. Jerax is rolling around. This is who's all, but he will. Get dropped. Roger got the hook beautifully. Nicely done from him. That pudge hook. Woo! Damn, Roger. All right. Dendy's been teaching him some tricks. Yeah. I like it. Looks yeah. good. And that gives them uh, the 12 to 9. Bit of edge here and a little bit of experience. Quite, quite a bit of gold. 219 there for pudge as well. So yeah. he's got his urn and uh, he's got a little mango hanging out there. He's going to have Dismember soon as Bottom well. Bottom lane, they're ready to set up on the S4 right, here. Cost Avalanche combo, it looks like, but he's pretty tanky. Chris Crown now. Well, when you have Life Drain and Decrep and Nether Blast. And a Bedlam, you yeah. know. It's hard some to, decent uh, skills. Hard to deal with that damage. <laughs> For sure. What a hero this Dark Willow is. Yeah. Uh, that is a Mask Madness for Rezo, though, so expect him to climb even higher on the net worth chart. He, he has been stacks. eclipsed. No stacks still. All right, I was trying to check and see if he had any stacks to work with. Oh, no Jerax. He has found General Roger, rather General Roger found him. Watch buckle. He's gonna get his ult off. He's gonna drop the shield crash. It gets canceled by the hook from Roger again. No dismember needed. Now he'll finally skill up. But Jarek's getting killed twice by this Pudge with the hook. It's actually beautifully done. Yeah, these are some high tier plays right now. <laughs> that is not what you're expecting. You're, you're thinking you're gonna get kind of a free pass there as Jarek, but Roger's just owning them. Uh, and they're pushing bottom at the same time. It looks like Crystal is trying to make a play top, but he can't quite catch No Tail. Here we go. Bottom lane disruption coming out. They're trying to find Roger. They have Doom. They're going to use it. Fly pops the Demonic Bridge as well. The Infernal Blade. Tiny gets the nine in the tower elsewhere. There's another blast coming in, but they will not be able to deny Roger. Fly will take the killing spree. 
and it goes his way. So now we'll back up. They took the tier one tower, I believe. Yes, General did take it in the end. Crystallized so. top, ulted here by Jerax. Now looking for an X marks here comes Jerax using that ultimate now. Ghost is gonna hit as well with the X marks combo. Another hit from that ultimate. The swatch buckle crystallized is so tanky at this point. He's taking so much damage, but no tail. One more auto attack to terrorize. It comes in a second too late from Seneco. Oh, now the big coming cool in down. No more demonic purge. They will get a disruption coming out as well. The bramble maze might be. No, he's got the shadow arm. No tail. He's still alive, but he's gonna get dropped. Jerax gets a double kill with that swashbuckle and even resolution rotates in. Elsewhere, they're looking for more. General coming back and he's got the deep rep. He's got the nether, nether blast and life through it and General will secure the kill. Roger Roger's got an arcane or well fly. They'll hit it onto an illusion instead. Now flies on the run. They have another deep rep in one second and another nether blast to work with as well. They're gonna try to chase him down. The damage is there. He's got a good disruption. Life stream. Not enough mana plus it's on cooldown for five. Roger, he's, oh, he's stuck. Blocked. He's stuck by these illusions of resolution. We'll go toe to toe with him. The stone gate is gonna get dropped down and Roger is in some serious trouble. But good deep rep so far. Might keep him alive. They won't chase. <laughs> We're smoking, says OG. Are they actually smoking? Did they smoke? No. <laughs> okay, well, all right. Got to keep him on the toes, though. Yeah, exactly. Well, at least he uh, survived there for Roger. Close one. All right. Thanks to Mr. Midas for jumping in there real quick. I really appreciate whenever he's able to give us an update on what the hell is happening. He's a very scary boss. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. He, he, he likes slapping his employees. I'm sure you've seen. Anyway. And obviously they were smoking, but uh, it looks like they're not again. <laughs> All right, we got uh, the Rolling Thunders back up here. Jax, uh, kind of the expected build, I'd say, for position four. Oh, they do catch that scan up top. They know that No-Tail's lurking in the side shop, so they initiate on Crystallize. Warren, demonic first to come in. They have Ghost Ship. Oh, they they do. have a hook here, too. Like, yeah, Roger's worse, waiting. So. They're going to find Fly. He got hooked and tossed at the same time. That was beautiful. His dead body comes flying back. To the earth and so oh bottom lane there is a jerks ulti he misses the swashbuckle again on the snake though having a bit of a rough time here a little bit of a taunt here need five minutes five. oh man miss i think uh the pr uh, Re reginald <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much, Taylor, for, for another fantastic day break. It's, it's been, been great, great so far. far. We got five minutes. We might have time to roll another one. We'll see. <laughs> Could we please? Could we please roll the second? Reginald! Could we roll, we two? roll two? Can we do two? They're doing I it. I think we're doing two. What's going on? Uh oh. Just bring, bring it back, back to us. us. We're, We're good. good. Okay. okay. Alright, well, I can just hear the music. I can't see anything. All right, thank, thank you so, so much, much Reginald, the rest of production. <laughs> I think really Reginald's is. having some issues he's or having something. Some, he's having yeah. a tough time, but you know I what, that's know. okay. That's he's going right. to watch out for Mr. Midas. Yeah, Mr. Midas is going to, he's about to get, uh, he's about to get slapped. I've been there, I've been down that road mm. as the butler. It's not a fun road to be down. No, it's, it's no good, especially after he just finished washing the dishes and that big, you know, yellow glove thing. It's very slimy, it's it gross, but... Uh, yes. That's what we're saying. Ugh. Both. Yeah. He does everything. He is not a professional producer. We tried to make him, but... Well, Navi need five minutes. I think the last time this <laughs> happened, I was watching a Navi game. They actually said door. In like a pro game. Just door. Door. I, I, I mean, I didn't know door. that it worked in competitive. <laughs> that's... That's that's the classic, man. Uh, we have admin purge here at our side right now. Oh, actually he's, got a, the, a he's got the timer going. right in yeah, between it's trench It's happening. I mean... 16 moon bucks. 60 moon bucks. Oh, 60 me. moon bucks. This a is a minute. very expensive pause. Uh, no, hold on, guys. I gotta ask the person questions here. So, if it's uh, 1 minute 59 seconds, are we charging them? We're gonna round up. All right, he's rounding up. He's a hard guy. Yeah. Uh, why don't we just charge him by the second while I you're think, at it? I think we're running the. All right, we might charge him by the second. I think we're running the bait break, maybe. 
I can't tell. I can't tell if that's live or a student post. Are, are we vape breaking? We're vape breaking. I'm so sorry. This is the longest day we've ever had. Oh, let's go. We're good. We're going. We got to go. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed our official Alien Piss Vape Break. It was fantastic. It was an enlightening experience. I think we're all a bit better for that particular vape break. Yes, and remember OG, or rather Navi, excuse me, they spent more in the draft than OG did. In fact, OG didn't really spend that much, they ran him. Meanwhile, they're going to go for a toss combination. Roger, they've got the life drain. They're going to take down No-Tail, Crystallize, getting involved with that toss, have a combo, and they're going to take the Tier 1 tower along with it. Yes, and they're smoking, or maybe not. Yes, we're getting to that point potentially for Navi. Crystallize. He's got the SMY just about done. He actually has a Shadow Blade in his next item uh, in his inventory. We'll see if it goes Kyle later, depending. They obviously want to win the game. That's first and foremost important, but we'll see. Yes. Torrent almost sitting on General. He just missed it. The Ghost Ship's coming in General. X marked up as well. He's going to get caught here. But where's the follow-up on the other side? Crystallize getting caught. Or rather, Fly getting caught by Crystallize. But here comes Jerax. He got stuck on top of that stairs. And that was able to get him hit three times with the Rolling Thunder. And OG will clean house two to one trade. Meanwhile, Resolution is taking mid. Mask Man is Dragonlance. He will be going for the Lincoln Sphere next. He's going to get disarmed with that Decrep for a moment. He will back up. But OG finding some huge kills, especially on that tiny coming out. Yes. Right. Liars. Yeah. I like where his head's at. Oh, a doorbell. <laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> we might have to spend some moonbucks of our own. <laughs> oh man, great start to this game. They have some giant stacks they're taking for resolution as well as Jarex getting involved too. Jarex, he's picked up the Arcanes, he's working on Blink Dagger as we anticipated. OG will say they're smoking, and they probably are. They have one on fly, they're going to finish this off, and I think they're going to go for it as well. They're smoking. 
Seneco. Seneco is gonna get caught here potentially. He's got the double null tally. Torrent hitting on the crystallized dome. He just avoids it. They, they use the swatch book as well, but doesn't hit. They terrorize the bats. It hits on everybody. Plus the Bramble Maze. Jerax is in trouble. He gets decrypt. He gets hooked as well. They've got the life drain. They don't even need it. Plenty of damage from Navi. That terrorize ability so strong in that that point for Seneco. And they're gonna smoke. They didn't they did not say we're smoking. That's twice. That's twice. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. It, it's it's going to be donezo for now, but I believe Mr. Midas, he's going to have to make that ruling later. Ah, it's too late. Dendi, it's too late. You can't. You just can't. You can't do it. All right, here we go. Roger sitting on the side. Fly. Corruption. They're going to use the uh, soul catcher as well. Good torrent to fall, but General is in some serious trouble. He gets blown away by no tail with the Tidebringer as well. Easy kill for them, and they will try to force this tier one tower. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Resolution might get caught here. He's very strong. He has the Stone Gaze available if he needs it. They're going to have Seneco coming in first. Stone Gaze comes out. The Bramble Maze will get caught for now. He's very tanky, though. I don't think they can take him down. They pop the Bedlam. They're still coming in now. They have plenty of damage as well. Dismember. Here comes the Rolling Boulder. Rather, the Rolling Thunder from Jerax. The Resolution's in trouble. Rotted down and crystallizes auto attacks more than enough. Jerax is trying to get through. Of course, he was trying to work his way through the Bramble Maze. Has to go back towards the side shop. Rock coming in. He's going to use the Shield Crash. Good talk. Gonna be for first life. He's watched both away. They will be able to get out in time. Ghost ship on the other side is gonna hit on Seneco, but where's the follow-up? He's still alive for now. Roger still chasing. Lightning bolt, they've got fly down and dead in the dirt. Jarek is gonna be next. Swash buckles through looking for Roger, but he's still in trouble. He's gonna use his shield crash. Roger's low in health, but they're gonna have the toss combo with the dismember. More than enough to get the kill, and now we will find three for one as General gets caught on the backside. S4 is coming in. He's already used his doom. He's gonna hit up with a tree grab as well. Another avalanche toss combination as well for Crystallize. Doesn't have a tree though. He's got 10 seconds left. Hook coming in. S4 just sidesteps it. He just dodges it. He's gonna find a bounce through in the torrent. Will come out. There's the Zeus salt. S4 is so low. He will finally get ticked down by the dark lightning. Roger's still going to work. He's finding another kill potentially. He's looking for No-Tail. They've got Denny to help out as well. Roger can rot himself to go down, but instead he's gonna get caught by the Tidebringer from No-Tail. And now he's looking for more. Dendi now on the run. He will not get involved. What a fight coming in. It was a four for three trade. Navi will get the better end of it. Most of the gold going the way of Roger, Tiny, and Dendi as well. What a fight there, Trampax. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Nobody look at anybody! Radiant's structures are fortified. Right. Teams are not in fact smoking, but uh, the all chat is beautiful. Meanwhile, bottom lane, no kill looking for time, or rather torn, he will find on Crystallize is fine. He has this SMY fully completed. He will deny the tower. Is he going to work on the Kai? He's going for Shadowblade first, so not yet. Meanwhile, mid lane, they're looking for Jarex. Terrorize comes in and hits onto one. The, the Rolling Thunder is going to hit twice. He's stuck in his little crevasse as well in the river. He will get the shield drop down. Good swashbuckle to avoid that hook as well, but he's going to get dismembered. They need an Infernal Blade. They didn't have it. They used the Thunderclap from S4, the Stolen Hellbear Smasher, but now it's a one for one trade. Denny tried to chase him down, but S4 is very tanky. Yeah, he really wants it. Hook across the river, no such luck for Roger. Very speedy Doom is able to get himself away from that potential hook coming in. So a one for one trade, but no tail. He's picked up an end of his rune. He has a BKB. He's looking for Crystallize. He's got the X Marks Torrent combination. They're trying to get across this river here. They're going to find Roger instead. Are they going to go for this? They need the X. No tail still not using it. Now he sees Crystallize. This maybe is who he wants to go for. They're ready to fight. No tail getting so much vision. They have no detection here. Nothing they could do. Seneco just picks up his, uh, um, how, excuse me, Veil of Discord. So we'll see if he can get that going, but. Oh, oh, they, he was almost inside the radius. Yep, he's gonna go for the torrent combination. It's gonna hit onto two. Here comes the ghost ship, beautifully to fall. Shadow Realm, they've got the Doom, that's on the general. Rolling Boulder, right, the Rolling Thunder coming in from Jerex. X marks on the Crystallize to kite him up as well. Swashbuckle coming in. They've only got Seneco for now. Roger's getting chased down as well. S4, the Infernal Blade coming in. Fly is now on the high ground. He's got the disruption. will cancel the TP. No Tail was able to make it out to safety. The Swashbuckle, it's three dead for Navi. Jerex and the rest of OG having a great initiation with that torrent from No Tail. And they're starting to push forward here and get some more farm for Red Hill. And 
very hectic back and forth action. New Soul will come out and they're gonna find Fly, he's done. Avalanche will come in. No ship to keep OG alive. They will take the Aegis, so don't deny coming out, so that bounty is now done. Bramble Maze coming in. They've got the Fear of the Terrorize on the Resolution. They'll pop the Stone Gates. They might try to turn and fight. He is gonna get decrept as the Shadow Realm comes out. OG also running away as Crystallize is looking for any target. And Navi, they only get a Shadow Demon while Roche and Aegis both go to Rezo. And yes, he did pick it up. He did not deny it. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, he got destroyed. No tail might have to use the to December. He gets it off in time and crystallized can't take him down. But instead, they will find a good disruption save, at least for now, onto the Doom. Still, we're the tanky. The Torn will come out. They really want the skill. Shadow Realm is coming in S4. Not enough damage to bring him down. Decrep on the Fly. Hook coming in as well from Roger. They will miss a lot of these abilities because of a great disruption save coming in from Fly. And a beautiful Torrent as well. And that will keep them at bay for now. Navi, they've broken the Lincoln Sphere. There's the Lightning Bolt. Life Drain comes up. Another good disruption. Bramble Maze. Resolution still has Aegis, mind you. This is something to consider. Dismember. Shadow Realm coming out. And they're going to get this kill. At least under the Aegis. Fly is going to get dropped down as well. Crystallize gets into the back lines. No Tail is here. No BKB for 40, though. S4 is rotated. And he's got the Doom. They're going to find Seneco. And he's going to get dropped by the Torrent. No Shadow Realm to save him this time. Instead, they will chase the other side. Dandy's going to get doomed up. But S4 needs to chase him down. Good hook save from Roger. That might keep him going. And Roger's going to try to chase S4 and cancel his flank. Torrent X marks. He's gonna get caught by the Ancient Prowler Shaman. S4. Oh my god. And they're looking for more. They have the Infernal Blade. He's pretty speedy. He's got no score strength, but General is here. And the Doom is done. And Dendi is turning and fighting. They decrap the Zeus Salt. Dendi is up. He's got those Bloodstone charges like you just mentioned, Trent. And now they're trying to find No-Tail, but he is out of there as well. Oh my god, Jax, please. 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 Guys, it's he has one minute. He has one minute to get this done, I believe, according to uh I don't know if that's still what it was, but that was what it was in the beginning. He's gonna drop it down. Jerex! No, the rolling thunder! He's gotta he's gotta cancel it. He's gotta cancel it. He jumps in, get the tree down. He missed it! He missed it! Where's the tree, tree Jerex? No! Jerex, come on! You are so close! Oh, he's gonna die for this too. I can't believe it. Jerex. Oh, he will survive, but on the other side, Dendi getting chased down, No-Tail, x Mark's coming in, he's in trouble, he might have to bluster him tonight, he can't get it off in time, and General's gonna get caught, BKB up for No-Tail, I don't think they want to chase him down, they have the X-Marks, <laughs> nice, excellent, <laughs> we got the Roche Cyber guys, don't even worry. <laughs> Jerax, is it, is it 25 minutes, or did we change that? So he has, he has 10 seconds. He's not even going for it. He just TP's out. He was so close. Jerax, you got to give him credit for making the plays. But, man. No trees. <laughs> that was amazing. It was a very noble effort. You got to give him credit. He just he's just like I can't I can't get rolling thunder to, I can't get up. He tried shield crash and he would have died anyways, I think, to the well, but uh, that was hilarious. Somehow they TP back in time, Navi protecting their base, no trees allowed. Instead they will try to fight elsewhere. Roger looking for a hook, but uh, X Mark's back is gonna be no tail. What he's he's gonna go for the Daedalus, the old school Kunkka build. We've got phase drum, Daedalus, BKB, rather Chrysalis for now. I love it. Oh man. OG, ha they've done a great job of it. I think every time they've smoked, they've, they've done it. So that's something they have to keep in mind. Uh, Navi, they might be uh, out of the running for that bounty rune, but we'll see. We'll see what Mr. Midas decides. Yeah, there it is. Roger's been great. He's been playing out of his mind for sure. Yeah, he's really feeling it right now. He's got 16 flesh heap stacks. He's actually very tanky, 2400 health, uh, along with seven armor to work with as well. OG, they might be smoking. They just said it a moment ago. I think that should be loud. Danaka will say the same. I, <laughs> Navi doesn't know this. They just happened to say we're smoking at the same time that OG actually did. Uh, they have the Lincoln Sphere. They have the Hurricane Pike for resolution. He's trying to build into that BKB. I think if you're Navi, if you know this is happening, you're going to back up. 
don't believe they want to fight this. These scan, especially if they can... This is a dire scan, by the way. It's not successful, not yet. They might see Crystallize. He's going to get jumped on. The tree grab won't do enough. They're going to have the Infernal Blade. They've got the Torrent coming out as well, along with the huge Ghost Ship. Crystallize hooked away by Roger, but Terex was waiting for it. He gets the Rolling Thunder, but there's not enough damage. He's going to go back in the Shield Crash. Crystallize dead by Terex's hand. The Swash Poco comes in as well. Meanwhile, on the other side, S4 is getting low. The Zeus Soul coming in. The Decrep was too much damage. And General now, hook up. No Tail's able to BKB, but that's this member coming in, and now Rezo will go with the auto attack. Plenty of damage being done. Roger's got to run. Dendi gets a double kill. They'll find S4 and Jarex. And now Rezo needs to be careful. The Bramble Maze coming in. They drop the Veil, the Shadow Rum, the Hook coming in. He's going to be getting saved by Fly with Disruption for now. He is still going to go toe to toe. Sineko is in trouble. No Shadow Rum for a second. It looks like he's going to get dropped. Rezo's on the run. The Life Drain isn't going to be enough damage. Now they'll try to find No Tail as BKB is back in 40 seconds. A Lightning Bolt. They've got the Decrep. He misses the Hook. Then Nether Blast coming in. No Tail still so tanky. General is going to get dropped down. Resolution Force forward by his own hand. The Hurricane Pike now looking for Roger. He's got the urn on him. It's the negative urn. He's going to try to get out of here, but he's caught. Can he rot tonight? He cannot. A resolution double kill. Somehow OG turned it around at the end of the fight. Resolution on the Stusa is so damn strong, friend. Precious bounty. Precious bounty. Ooh, that's hype. You were telling me about the Shavelin before game, and I think it's really it's good stuff with the swash buckle with our piercer. On the other side, Denny's gonna get caught, the banish gets the disruption. They're setting things up, but they're not quite here in time. He's gonna get jumped on in front of play. He actually tried from the TV, didn't make it out. He has to use his bloodstone and eye. And he will the doom up on a general. General has died 13 times. It's about to be 14 potentially. He might be able to get out. He is, again, so speedy, still getting run down. He might get into the well in time. He might get denied. It looks like he's going to go back for the deny for Seneca. Is it going to get there in time? General, he's going to get dropped. And now the Rolling Thunder, that'll be up onto the Pudge. Three dead. Crystallize can only watch. He's picked up the Shadow Blade, but he cannot find a way to initiate. And suddenly, OG are threatening high ground here, Trent. S4. Infernal Blade, Crystallize. They don't have the monocrit. If they had purge, it was up in two seconds, actually. All right. Flip was used. Radiant side. Snake is going to throw up the shadow room. Rather terrorize, heading onto two nicely. That'll keep their base alive. That's actually, it, it's true. It is a pretty long cooldown. 73 seconds, so not much. It keeps them on away from the base for now, and here we go. They're going to pop the BKB from Rezo. Dendi is going to get caught and killed. He has no deny. He is down for 55. He does have buyback available, and he might have to use it here. Everybody back up in about 10 seconds, except for Dendi, of course, who, like we said, is down for 50. Rezo's going to get caught. They have to. They've got to go. Ghost Ship will come out. No Tail still pretty tanky here. I believe he has no BKB for 30 seconds. Jarek's rolling thunder, crystallize. He has to back himself up. He pops his own BKB, but that's going to be down in a moment. And OG are going to get out scot free. It looks like the Bramble Maze might hit onto Rezu, Rezu, but I don't think they're going to be able to chase him down. They have hook and one. We're smoking. But they're not. Actually, are they? Dyer are scanning. Yeah. So, OG, getting that Roshan, getting that Aegis, they should be able to finish off the game here in a moment. So, uh, they didn't do the Lactose Tolerant Challenge, they didn't do the... Yes. I... It, exactly, getting this first game victory. They're trying to find Crystallized. Bramble Maze will cover the retreat for now. Fly's walking up. He needs to be careful. Hook on him. Just remember to fly up as well. They need to stop this. Fail. He's actually pretty tanky. Here comes the Terrorize. He's going to be on to S4. It looks like no. Only on the Rezo, which is really big. Roger's still going to get chased down by S4. He does get denied. That was a huge deny with a ride. Nicely done from Roger. Having a great game. Rezo is just... He's in right now. No Tail's going to get caught and killed. Crystallize will bring him down. He's dead for 80 seconds, but it's still two for one trading. Crystallize is going to get caught. He has to use the BKB. He is on the run, and they won't be able to find him. Instead, they will have to back up. No. 
Yeah, they really are. They are feeling it right now, and they're trying to finish up this first game of Mighty Smoke, get a one nothing advantage. The smokes, they've been plentiful. Dendy's gonna get caught, but Jarex won't follow up. Of course, he goes for the shield crash, but... Oh, Rezo, please. Rezo, please. Can, can he get to it at time? That in time, that was the question. Rolling Thunder coming in. They'll look for General. Jarex is about to find him. He's got Blink and Tan. He just used it. General is in trouble. He'll drop the Nether Ward. Shield Crash comes out. He's got the Deep Drop and Life Drain. He'll get off the Deep Drop. There's the Swash Buckle. Keeps him alive. The Life Drain. They have an Infernal Blade, and that is General going to go down. Big kill there for OG. And Roche is up, as we talked about. We'll see if they head into this pit here in a couple of seconds. Yeah. All right, he's got us in what? He just finished it. He just needs the cut. Oh, he's got it. He's got it queued up. S, Y, and K. Resolution with his BKB up. And uh, he's not far. He just needs a couple of minutes here. Not even that. Maybe just a minute or two. Are they smoking? Is Jarek smoking? They're looking for Crystallize. All right, well. They're going to try to go for Roche. Crystallize is ready. He'll throw the tree into the pit. Crystallize now on the run. He has been so tanky. He's been impossible. He has actually gotten so much. It's kind of insane, you're right. Dude. Yeah, that's where they, they're getting all that money coming in. First game, Swashbuckle onto Crystallize, but he is Shadow Blade. They needed the dust and flies. Ooh, nice. Excellent D Ward. Excellent D Ward. Neko in trouble here. He's got the Shadow Realm. He's going to actually have the Decrypt to save now. But there's the X. Torrent follow-up is going to be the Ghost of Deep Voice. It's still getting jumped on by S4. The Infernal Blade. Decrypt won't be there in time. The Zeus Hall coming out as well. It's not going to do enough. And if OGs want to play the safe, they can back up and take Roche at this point. Um, we'll see if that's going to be the case. How close is he to Kaya? He's pretty close, actually. There's a lot of damage here. Are you smoking? We're smoking. The Zeus Hole comes out. They found the hook. Flies in trouble, but he gets rolling thundered and disrupted almost immediately. Now they're just back and forth with Jared. The swashbuckle coming in. Roger is going to get chased down, and Crystallize is going to be next if he's not careful. Rezo chasing him down. The ghost ship is about to hit. It just misses. Crystallize on the run. One more auto attack from Rezo. He'll find it. A mega kill spree. With him down, they might have to buy back. They're going to lose out on Roche. They have the Kaya on the way from Rezo at this point. Uh, they're feeling good here in game one. Jarek swashbuckles himself out of trouble as he was about to get hooked by Roger. They'll finish off Roche and Nabi. It looks like game one is about to go not in their favor. Gold for my chest. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> he had it there. Yeah, that's our bad. That's our bad. It was a good idea, but yes, he actually Jarex actually got it off. We we thought, oh, he screwed up, and now Jarex is just a god, and he did it anyway. So he's got the Lotus Orb. They're smoking, but not really. And uh, they'll try to finish this game off. No tails or Daedalus. He's got a Blink Dagger. He's level 23. Uh, at this point, OG, they just need to take one or two team fights. The game essentially. So we'll see. See for Navi. Something crazy stuff like Roger getting a hook on No Tail, but even then, Roger is alone. No Tail will throw up the torrent. He misses. Uh, no Tail still chasing him down. X marks. He's got the blank dagger. Although Crystallize is coming in, he has his BKB and that's why No Tail's about to get jumped down. There's the start off with the three hits. They're gonna come in. Avalanche toss. No Tail pops. BKB. He's pretty tanky. Monic Purge coming in. Crystallize ghost shipped up as well. X marks to come out. No Tail. What a blank. What a sick blank coming in. He's so tanky. Zeus ult does nothing. They're even going to pop the uh, static field. It's just not going to do enough. Yeah, he's fine. He's all right. Don't even worry about it. Deny comes out again, by the way, for Roger, who's been owning in terms of that. I don't know. Don't ask me. Shadow Realm. The torrent will hit. He actually got the X marks off beforehand. Curse Crown's about to go. This TP might actually be huge. The Nago's gonna make it out. Nice TP with the uh, Curse Crown. So really good stuff there. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Yeah. They're keeping the waves pushed out. I mean, he's in a pretty good spot. He's actually gonna be spotted here in a moment. I think Fly's about to make something happen. 
They might lose Crystallized Bottom. Demonic Purge. Jerex coming in. He's so tanky. He's got a BKB, and now he just runs. Rolling Thunder from Jerex. He's got to bounce off the wall and go just back towards Crystallized soon. Again, he is BKB. So. Disruption comes out. Now he might be able to, but he's still taking a lot of damage. He runs him down. Jerex jumps in. Shield Crash. He's just dead. Fly will get the kill. It is a lot of time wasted for OG, and, and like you mentioned, they lost No-Tail elsewhere, but Rezo is just straight pushing mid lane. Classic. Take some of these wit. All right, man. So again, like I said, Navi, they're they're they haven't lost racks yet, but they are keeping these waves pushed. They're doing whatever they can at this point. It's still looking rough though. 20k net worth advantage plus an Aegis and cheese for OG. Getting hit up. That's the Zeus ult coming in along with the Dagons coming in from a couple. And Rezo will survive for now, but he will back himself up. That high ground defense, they've got a lot of zaps. They've got the Zeus, they've got the Dagon. I think it's level, what, three or four? It's three for general. So, I mean, they're doing a lot of damage, man, let me tell you. Yeah. I'm from NA Dota, so I agree completely. Yeah, a lot of professionalism. It's a dying art, let me tell you. It is certainly a dying art. So let me ask you a question. Does Resolution have to have the Kai in his, in his inventory for this to work? Bounty. So once the Aegis is gone, I'll put it in there is what you're thinking. All right. I am of a belief that you need to have it in your inventory. That's my First round coming in Resolution is about to be in trouble again. Gonna get the Lotus Orb to save him. Jumping up though, no tail. Swatch buckle onto three. Rezo still walking up to the high ground. He needs to be careful. He's got the Aegis. The Zeus Nimbus is got, about to get taken down here. They can get to it, but they blew up that creep wave pretty much immediately. Yeah, miss 100% of the shots you don't take there. All right, no tail, almost level 25. Oh, go shoot. I mean, he might just go for the the clip. I, I'm not sure, but yeah, yeah, I think so too. I like the fleet, but there's one ship less now, guys. It's important to know. True. Roger, hook, resolution on the high ground. Aegis is gone. He needs to BKB. He needs to get there in time. The Zeus ult, the Nimbus coming out. He'll BKB. He gets forced down to the low ground. They throw a lot out, but it doesn't even cost that much for Navi to do all of that damage. Hook's going to come in. He will get torn to no tail, looking for some sort of auto attack. Can't get it off as he gets decrepped. The ghost ship will come in, but again, it's just the one ship. And no tail, still not level 25 yet. And Rezo, he just, he's actually pretty squishy, all things considered, with all this damage coming in from Navi. Yeah, true. true. Meanwhile, top lane, Crystallize torrent it up. This is BKB. Jerex will long thunder in, but Crystallize will go for his own BKB. He has Shadow Blade as well. Meanwhile, bottom, they're TPing and looking for S4. The hook comes out. They've got the Nimbus. S4 is in some serious trouble. They've got the Bramble Maze, the Curse Crown, and this is going to be a great kill for Navi, keeping themselves in this game. Resolution's coming, but. He's too little too late. He has an Invis rune. He also has a Scotty done. Meanwhile, top of my Crystallize. Jerax, he's going to chase him down instead. The Ghost Ship coming in the Torrent along with it. Crystallize might be in trouble. The Shield Crash, the Dagon Zap coming in from General. And Crystallize doing more than enough damage. Back mid lane, they terrorize. They were chasing after Roger, but it comes in at the perfect time for Seneco. He'll pop the Bramble Maze. The Shadow Realm is going to go for the TP. No way to stop this if you fly the Stone Gaze. He actually made it out in time. Unbelievable. Good attempt at the Stone Gaze coming in from the Deuce, but not enough to stun down poor Seneco. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while, Trent, especially, I mean. Ha ha, whoa. Excellent work, buddy. <laughs> no, listen, we, we need to save those. We have to save those for later, they're important. 
All right, OG. Like you mentioned, their lead is slightly dwindling. It's a 19k lead, was 22k. I mean, obviously, it's still a lot, but next fight at Roche is probably something you consider for Navi. Is that where you take your big fight, or do you just try to get pickoffs? The, uh, the refresher shard, yeah. Who does that help this game? Double ship. Right. Step lively now. Your admiral is on board. Hey, amp. It's serious for sure. See who gets it. Roger looking for a hook, but he gets taunted instead as the hook comes out. X marks from No Tail. He's gonna get some help. S4 is running in. Ghost ship. Roger is in trouble. He's gonna get caught. Infernal bladed and swashbuckled down on the other side. They're looking for more disruption coming in, and look at the damage coming from Resolution. dendy has got to go for the TP, and luckily enough, he'll be able to make it out. So too will Seneco, because again, Shadow Realm is really good. So. Crystallize trying to split push bottom. He's not at the base now. He should have a TP available. He does five seconds actually, which is kind of problematic. But, uh, Scramble Maze will hit. Garex washbuckled as Seneco gets up the Shadow Realm. That is so much damage on the rise of Decrep, the Zeus Alt, the Nimbus along with it. But he is alive for now. Yeah, they really do. He like, he's just getting destroyed. They're gonna find an avalanche cross combo and fly. He's tanky. I don't think he's that tanky though. The Zap comes in with the Decrep. General is doing a lot of work in these fights. With just the Dagon and the Zap, and of course the, the Nimbus coming out with the D-Strip. It's actually so much damage. Yep. Yeah, it's actually kind of insane. So General started the game off with about 7-ish ah, kills, now up to 16. So he's been hanging on. He's got a Kai. He's working on a Yule Scepter. Even even more survivable as well. Crystallize working on a Butterfly for his next item. Roche is up. This is the Refresher Shard oh, Roche. Now looking for an X Marks. They, they're not going to find it, actually. It's only on the note. Looking for the Torrent. Almost hits it. Snake was able to get out with the Shadow Realm as well. And uh, will we see OG head into the Roche? It looks like that's going to be the case. Rezo's walking in there. At least this moment. That's almost, that's just too many dooms. It's just too much from S4. He's also working on an Ags as well. That's what he's got in his quick buy. I think he probably gets the refresher first, potentially, but we'll see. Gonna go nullifier. Washbuckle. Pretty good hero to do it uh, in terms of getting money. No tail, he went for the tiebreaker cleave as you, you expected. And, and as fun as Ghost, Ghost Ship Fleet is, this is a probably better choice than you tell. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. If it gets to that point. Tiny's not terrible with it either, I suppose, but he's trying to go Daedalus instead. Um, but Nimbus is in the Roche pit, and it's going to get taken down by Roche as Rezo walks in, and they're going to know this is happening. We'll see if OG commits to this. On the other side, yeah, he, he he's running now. Ward will scout out a couple of heroes mid lane. They're going to try to de-ward in the meantime. No Tail is walking at X marks. He's looking to throw out the creep wave. Keep it as pushed in as possible. Now, Jerex TPs to the tier 2 tower. They're going to try to head into the pit. Nimbus should be back up here in a moment, and it is. And uh, they might drop it inside this pit once more. Resolution and OG trying to find a way to get inside. Yeah, they have so much control over this Roche pit. They have three wards right in the vicinity here. Uh, no Tail will continue to TP into the wave and just push this out. And oh my god! No Tail just one shot Seneco. Oh my god. See ya. See you later. That was. He literally crit him for 3,000 damage. That's not even fair. That is not even fair. For Seneco, that this is what's going to do the job, I think, in the end game. And he's going to find a double damage rune, which he will bottle up just right now. Meanwhile, the courier crystallized. I believe he spotted. It. He's going to get the courier kill. I don't know what was on it. Uh, that was the dire courier getting dropped down. Uh, is that the one minute? Nope. Rizzo just took it. He denied it. So I don't think they understand. I don't think they understand how lactose tolerant works, unfortunately. Uh, li listen, 
they're already doing pretty well in the uh, in, in that standpoint in terms of getting things done, like the bounty rooms. Smoking one, the Kaya one. I think they might have. They, yeah. No, no, no. I swear, I did. yeah, yeah. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, they didn't understand it. I or yeah, that's it. Maybe they just didn't want to the agents. They didn't have a slot. Although you know, No Tail has a bottle and drum. Yeah, I mean everybody has a slot. Let's be honest here. I think they just misunderstood. Lactose tolerant. Meanwhile, on the other side, No Tail's running in looking for Dendi. Roger took a lot of damage. I think from one auto attack from No Tail for the Tidebringer. He has a DD. General needs to be careful. That's half of his HP gone. Looking for more Rezzers coming into Stone Gate. General, I immediately regret my decision. Might live though. Oh, that would have been hype from Roger, but he gets taken down with the last auto attack from Resolution, and now they will move up to the high ground here in a moment. Woo, that would have been hype. Here we go, Rezzo's up and in. They've got a huge crit from No-Tail. Jerex is in as well, and they're going to find Crystallize. We'll have to buy back. The Terrorize coming in, hitting nicely under two, but S4 pops the Refresher Shard. He's got another Doom Ward, and they've got the Nimbus. It's a lot of damage in on No-Tail. He's pretty tanky, but still, Doom comes out. That'll hit into the General, I believe. And now the Ghost Ship comes in, and they're going to get caught. No, x Sparks coming in now. S4 blinks into an Avalanche, and S4 is in trouble. The Glyph comes out. Jerex is now a little bit too far in as well. He's got to get out. He's going to use his Rolling Thunder. One more auto attack. He can't get away and now Fly's getting caught by Bedlam. Fudge will buy back. Rezo's in looking for Crystallize. He might die back here. He's going to try to get out. He was looking for the Shrine but they don't exist in the high ground anymore. Crystallize. I hate to tell you buddy. One more auto attack. He's too tanky. The 15 armor from level 3 grows a change and Tiny will survive. Nimbus now doing some work. Now the Shadow Poison coming out. Rezo trying to chase him down. Crystallize. No blink. He's got Shadow Blade in 5. He's got no TP to work with. He's stuck outside the base. And instead, OG, they will back themselves up. The scan will miss. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's too late. He just shadow blades away instantly. And here we go. Navi, they're just walking out. No smoke necessary. They're looking for a blink initiation. They're going to try to find it on the Rezo. He's got the Lincoln Sphere looking for a hook. He's still just dodging. And, of course, Roger didn't know where he was going. He couldn't figure it out. Crystallized now, still looking for more. But again... OG will back up. They force out a couple of buybacks. When it was all said and done, every hero used buyback there. Every hero for Navi. Bounty. My god. They've got another data list for no tail now. They're about oh my. He's still alive somehow. So they had like one HP, I think. And uh, he will make it up for now. He's sitting on 80 HP. Another almost one-shot crit for No-Tail. Not quite there yet, though. Oh, what a game, Trent. That is nuts. Courier? Courier? Nothing on it. Got it! Uh, shield crash, he got bashed up, and he's dead. Roger, yeah, the emotes were smoking. No tail, getting involved. They'll find a big kill, dead for 98 seconds, with no hook available, with no dismember available. Navi are not going to be playing four versus five, and there is a double damage rune at the top rune spot. Yeah. Yeah. You got to go for those plays. You got to get the courier down. Um, Tineko continues to cancel the Terrorize animation. He still has that, plus Bedlam. So, maybe they can do something here. You're actually going to get first round Lotus Storm off. Here comes the Yule set for Nimbus stuff as well. No Tail will pop the BKB. They need to take this down. Now coming in into Bedlam, but it's not nearly enough damage here from Tineko. Rezo's still alive for now. S4 is in, and they have dove Dendi. They've doomed him up. The, the, the toss in S4 is having a... He's having a roller coaster ride, essentially. He will get dropped dead for 89. That might be enough to push OG back. Rezo's still going to work on the racks. They'll break the link. He pops the BKB. He wants to finish this off, and General needs to be careful. Finally, the first melee racks of the game has been taken by OG. And, uh, well, No Tail about to get General, but he's able to keep the prep this time. Now, he's going to get caught. No BKB. X Marks coming back out. Chris Slash trying to chase him down along with Zaneko. They're going to have Fly jump in. Demonic Perch, but he's going to be caught in the Nimbus. He will get out in time. Jarex is rolling in with the Rolling Thunder, blinks up, he blinks ahead of Denji, and uh, they get him. Crystallize, I was watching Jarex Rolling Thunder, it was okay. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. They've got two so far, 
Navi will lose another though, that's gonna be Sineko. General might be next, Jarek jumps in, now the Demonic Purge. Of course, there is an Agonite Scepter up for the Shadow Demon. Doesn't have any more charges left, but they will try to take... Oh my god, the double kill. He was decrypt, I think, at that point, And he actually just destroyed him. Fly with a double kill on a support Shadow Demon. This Aghanim Scepter has been doing some serious work. They're going to buy back on No-Till. They know nobody has buybacks on Navi. Agreed. He, he was able to just throw people up in the air. They're going to find Rezu. He has PKB plus cheese now. No tail walking and look at the smaller attack damage. They're going to find Zeus as well. Big rolling thunder from Jarex. He's in trouble. Then he gets off the Zeus ult, but he's going to get dropped. Dead for 98 seconds, and that should do it for game number one. OG with an outstanding game, an outstanding draft from both teams. A fantastic first game for Midas No Trends.